Hi everyone, welcome to another video of uh, Daily Dose. So in today's Daily Dose, as the title suggests, we are going to talk about Flash and PowerPoint test. So this is one of the tests that we conduct on uh, the bitumen that we get from the company uh, during your construction, right? So let's begin with the very first and the very basic question that why we do it? What is the reason behind doing this test? So let's understand. So flash and fire point tests are conducted to determine the flammability of a liquid. So these tests are important for ensuring safety in various industries such as oil, gas, chemical and transportation. So it's not that it is going to be conducted only on bitumen, but uh, all those materials which are actually very much flammable, right, which can catch fire very easily. Okay. And there is one more piece of information. Now the a whole whole reason why we want to know the flammability is if we know that any particular material is highly inflammable highly flammable you can say so we are going to store it in such a way only for example if i know that uh, we have a, a liquid or we have a gas which is the having a very low flash and fire point so what we are going to do is we will understand that there is a very high chance of happening any hazard with the storage of this material so we are going to uh, make the storage explosion proof we are going to give a better ventilation and all the equipments and the fire support system should always be ready nearby the vicinity of this storage facility so these were the reasons behind uh, conducting of this test so now let's understand what is the apparatus that we use in this test which is flash and fire point test so here we are going to use the Cleveland open cup apparatus and what are some uh, important part of this apparatus. So let's understand. So we are going to have a sample cup, a heater, operation panel, thermometer clamp is required so that we can uh, attach a thermometer over here and we can know what is the temperature and also we need the height adjustment uh, so that we can also maintain the height of the ignition from our free surface, right? Apart from this, we have this uh, cup, the sample cup, which is having the size of around dia 63 to 64 mm, whereas the, uh, you can say the outer, outer dia is somewhere around 67.5 to 69 mm. And we are going to give some clear spacing or the clear gap from the top of it of about 9 mm so that we can maintain uh, the safety during the boiling or you can say during the heating of the bitumen there is a high chance that bitumen may come up and we should have some safety regarding that as well apart from this the thermometer should be very precise over here so we are going to use a thermometer which can give us the range of minus 18 degree up to 370 degree celsius right which is the 700 in terms of fahrenheit and yes accuracy may go up to plus minus 0.5 degrees celsius so this is about the thermometer and the important apparatus now moving on to the next part and that is the procedure so let's start with the procedure the very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to ensure that the test cup is clean and dry then we are going to fill the cup with a sufficient amount of liquid being uh, tested up to the marked level of the cup which i told you 9 mm from the top surface and we are going to place the lid of the on the cup and make sure it is securely fastened apart from this we are going to now heat the liquid and we will place the test cup on the heating source anything it can be right here we are using a heat plate and gradually we will increase the temperature at the rate of 5 to 10 degrees celsius per minute and we are keep will will keep on stirring the liquid continuously to ensure that heating is happening uniformly and then as soon as we notice that the vapor starts coming out we are going to bring the ignition in contact to the vapor and when the vapor starts catching the fire in form of flashes, we will check the temperature of the bitumen and that temperature will be called as the flash point. And after that, we are going to again increase the temperature. We will keep on increasing the temperature up to a point when the surface is going to uh, catch the fire. The surface of the bitumen will catch the fire and that fire should remain at least for five seconds on the surface so this is the whole process of finding out the fire point and the flash point 
we are going to do this uh, one more time and at least twice preferably so that we can get the much accurate result in terms of the data of this particular test so this is the entire flash and fire point test i hope you got the idea about the whole test if you need any more videos of such kind you can let us know in the comment box and hit the like button if you really like the content of the video and share this video with your friends and uh, that's it i hope i'll see you in the next video till then please take care of yourself and please take care of your family have a nice day goodbye thank you so much